Hello, my name is Anton. I represent Gears Company. Today we will assemble a model from your Gears game series, Dice Keeper. This device is a small chest with fine curved ornamentation made in fantasy style. It is perfect for keeping your dices and is very comfortable in transit. Hope the assembly process will be quick and easy and I will help you with it. Let's go. So, let's open the box. And get the manual and two boards out of it. In a kit you will also find rubber bands, wax for greasing and a sandpaper for sanding the parts. There are only two boards in a kit. The manual has conventional symbols, represented by signs, which means the following. The upper signs means that parts need waxing. The second sign says you should know the location or positioning of certain parts. The sign with knife cutting something means that you can use a knife to cut a bulkhead carefully, if it is hard to get a part out of the board. Sign number four means that parts should rotate freely and easily. Now let's start the assembly. I would also like to draw your attention to the fact that the kit has spare parts, which are marked correspondingly. They can be either located separately or placed in the unit. Let's begin. Here's the first step. Part number one in which we insert two parts number two. You can find them on the first board. Attention! Light tone sides of parts number two should be faced up or down. Install them approximately in the center. For the next step, we install part number three. Предварительно удалив из нее место под деталь номер два. Деталь у нас which is symmetrical. Поэтому мы ее устанавливаем. Install it from either side. This is what we should get as a result. Let's put it aside. Now we take part number four and three parts number five. Hold part number four, as it is shown in the manual, and insert three pins into it. 
They are easily inserted without any waxing. But we'll need to wax the middle of each pin so that the gear wheels can easily rotate. It is waxed. Now we install parts number 6, 7 and 8. First we take them out, then wax. We can use a knife here to trim the burrs inside the gear. Wax each too thoroughly. And now we can put it on our parts. This is how this element moves. The cross section of the upper gear should be located horizontally, just as shown in the manual. Then we install part number 9 on top. Part number 9 can be found on the first board as well. Pay attention that the pins should be located underneath. Now our part is ready. We need two of them. That is why we will repeat everything from step one. We take part number four. And part number five. Uh, Insert three parts number five into part number four. Take the gears Trim the teeth to remove plywood burrs to make sure that they can easily rotate and that the mechanism doesn't get jammed. Now, we wax each gear tooth again to make sure that everything works easily and smoothly. 
гладко и легко. Now wax the middle of the axis. Hold it with the pins up. Install the gears. And cover with part number nine on top. Now make sure to locate the part so that the gears are underneath. Two same parts are ready now. Turn the page. Check that the center part is located correctly. Vertically, that is. Attach one of already assembled parts. Press it all the way down. Turn it over and insert the second part on the other side. Press it all the way down. Extract two parts, number 10, out of the board, and connect them with the main part. This sign shows that they should rotate easily. Let's make sure. Parts are easily rotated because we waxed them. Insert helper. And put it aside. Take part number 12. Try to wax the pins. It is not very convenient for all the sides, but quite possible. Now apply wax on the other side. Смазывая 
деталь у нас симметричная. Мы настаем. Take out part number eleven. And wax the gears as well. Now assemble it with the part number 12. It should look like in the manual. Like this. Now let's find parts number 13. They are on the other board. Install them carefully on the waxed pin, making sure that the knob on the parts is faced up. Uh, we did it all right. We have to make two such parts. Take out one more part 12. And one more part 11. Trim it with the knife. And wax the teeth on gears. Insert part 11 and take out the parts number 13. Install them with the pins up. Two kits are now ready. Take our central part and position in the way it is shown in the manual. Here we can see two gears. Central part and helper parts. Insert two of our curved side parts in the helper. Pay attention that the upper cross section of the gears should be positioned horizontally. Turn the page. Find parts number 15. Смазываем шипы. И первым делом... Ага. Для удобства... We can assemble two such parts at the same time. It will be quite comfortable as we will see how they are placed. 
and will not get confused. Place them with the long pins inside. First, put parts number 16 from underneath. Ready? Now let's put on the parts number 14. We need to assemble another pair like this. Place parts number 15 in the same way, with the long pins inside, and apply wax. Just the same with take out parts number 16. Install parts number 15. Now let's put on the parts number 14. Two pairs are ready now. Let's install them. Take the previously assembled unit. And put these beams behind the knobs of the pen. The manual indicates that the top crossing section of the gear should stay horizontal. Do the same on the other side. Turn this assembly on a helper located at the bottom to face you. 
and install the assembled before parts, just as it is shown in the menu. You can wax the parts, but here we install them quite easily, without any effort, so waxing wasn't needed. However, if the parts are hard to insert, it's better to wax them. Holding it with the helper at the bottom and facing us. Put part number 17 on top. See the Yagir's inscription is here, on the right, and it is easily readable. Take the wax and apply it to the axis as shown in the manual. It is needed for them to easily rotate and move in the slots later. The only difficulty is inserting the pins right into the slots. We'll try to do that at the first attempt. We need to assemble the side and top pins. So that everything is on its place. Turn the page. Install part 17 all the way. Turn the model over. Remove helper shown in manual with the arrow. It was only an additional auxiliary part. Now install the second pairs of the previously assembled parts. The first, and now the second. Find part number 18. Вот она. 
It is symmetrical. Install it by placing the pins in the slots. And cover with part number 19. Turn our unit over and make sure that the U-Gears inscription is readable and placed at the bottom left. Place slowly and carefully. Match the pins with the openings, making sure not to break anything. Do everything in the correct order. Now connect the pins with the slots. For this, we can use a knot and guide the pins a little. Now let's check. The first step is to pull the central part out. The second step, check if all sides can be open and the top covers go up. Turn the page. We can see that the unit should stay open for now. We'll need it later. Take the rubber band and tie two knots as shown in the picture in the manual. Tie the knots at a distance of about two-fifths from the end to the knot. Tighten the knots. Cut off what's left. And now we get two loops. Run two loops under the cover and put behind a special groove on the edge. One rubber band is ready. Uh, do this. Do the same on the other side with another rubber band. Okay. 
Справи. Так, вставили. The manual shows that we need to put the rubber band on the hooks. Let's do it. Do the same with the second rubber band. Let's assemble parts number 21, number 20, and number 22. Pay attention that we need two parts. Take out all the necessary parts first. We need four parts number 20. And two parts number 22. And now let's assemble all this. This is the first part, and this one will be the second. Turn the page. The ice keeper is closed. We close it. And install our parts on the top of the sides. Three pins have to match. And everything should be installed easily. Do the same on the other side. The manual says that this should be waxed, but we have done everything quite easily, so we didn't have to. Here is our assembled device. Just the same as in the manual picture. Let's see how it works. The model has the shape of a compact cube, with four compartments on one side, and four separate compartments on the other side. Place eight dice. It can perfectly accommodate a standard dice set. And the mechanism lifting the wall securely sets them inside to prevent from spilling and being lost in transit. 
This model is quite simple, yet no less interesting to assemble. Good luck.